Hello Universe, welcome to Digital Grid. My name is Godfrey Uzu, aka The Gentle Fred. Today, we'll be doing a gift box or a Christmas box. Alright, um, this is what we'll, we'll be doing today. Something like this is what we're going to be doing today. Okay, um, I think initially we saw something. I think this was also created with Blender. As you can see, I created it for a wedding program. Uh, and it goes like that okay yeah pretty cool to close it and uh, to open it pretty cool to open it very nice okay without much talking let's get started okay so open up blender we're going to tab mode i'm going to tab mode i look accurate a loop there and I skip it down. Okay, I think it's not aligned well, so I have to align it. So, I'm selecting all the faces that will represent um, a ribbon, a ribbon tied around it. Okay, so this will be our ribbon. Okay, S sorry. And um, to do that, I first um, assign a material to it by creating a new material. I love the red color or purple, if you don't mind. Red or purple is okay. Let's say purple. Okay, we can do it with this. Fully, this it's purple. Then you press on assign, and it gives it. Then, what I do is um, I press extrude E for extrude, escape, and scale. So, we scale it gently. I think that's pretty cool. All right, that's pretty cool. So, fun. all right, so. continue let me save it because uh, I've lost it about twice now I mean five times now <laughs> this is the fifth time I'm recording this tutorial well okay let's move to face selection mode select all we go to the graphic mode I select all okay I think it's all selected now so I press P, separated, it separated, okay, now it's separated, alright, so let's try and rotate it and see, now you notice if anytime I rotate it, it rotates along this, alright, I don't want it to be that way, I want it to rotate along its hinges, okay, so what I do is, control, I go into tab mode, I drag this down to this edge, okay, and I bring this here, I take it back up, Okay, so I press I pressed R along the Y axis just to raise it up. Okay, that's what we have over there. All right, that's fantastic. Okay, so now it's leveled our ribbon. We need to create ribbons on it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new curve and raise it up. I'm going to object mode. I lift it up. Grab it. I click on this. I press Control and click another one. It creates another one. So I do it well. I bring it here. I bring this like this. I align this here. Just watch what I'm doing. Just do it. Okay. So something like this is cool. Cool. With that, I align it here because um, if you 
in the past um, I had a lot of problems with this so this time around I don't want to have the problem okay so I had a plan to it uh, where is it and for the plane for the plane I scale it on the Y axis scale it down okay then what I do is um I subdivide it I go into this I loop it first I press control R to loop and double click that's what I'm doing right now okay so I select all W to subdivide and add more cuts okay it's perfect now then I go to modify stuff I can modify to right, I drag it down to try to take this shape drag it down Okay, so let's see, so we have something like this. I think something is right here, so. Right, just rotated it a little bit. Alright, I think I've um, got my ribbon over there, so what I'm gonna do right now is go into top view. I select it both I drag it backwards align it well and view I bring it up a little bit just a little bit okay perfectly okay so I go into I press shift D to duplicate escape and I rotate it as I'm rotating it I can press control to snap it uh, snapped all right so I bring it here and um, I rotate it. I, I align it very well. I click this as well. And I do it. Press Shift D, Escape, Rotate, and Control to align. All right, that's cool. Shift D again, Escape. All right. Then um, rotate it like that as well. Okay like that shift D again escape rotate okay fantastic this is pretty cool so what I'm gonna do is I'll add a material to that I think I'll make it red okay red I'll make this orange I'll make this uh, bling okay so I'll make this red pure red okay it's back to zero I got it Right, so we'll select all these ones. Um, select. Yeah, Alright, and I set I select this one last and press Control L, and I link all the materials. Automatically gives it all the material. Alright, I think that's perfect. Okay, the walls are what all this is selected. Okay, let me double select it. Let me double check by selecting it again. Okay, it's all selected. And I click this last, the separated one last. Then I parent it to it. Okay, now when I lift this up, it goes with it. Fantastic. It's well one. All right, so some few adjustments. Um, let me let me add some little reflection to this. All right, so I think I need to add something to the material. Okay, so I need to add a texture to it. Uh, Inish, just before that, let's render it and see how it looks like and save it. I've lost it twice, okay. <laughs> five times now. All right, I think it's 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 pretty much giving us cool, cool view. So I add a plane to it, bring it down. Um, I 
can take it up like that. Okay, I think it's perfectly okay. All right, then uh, let me add the reflection to that as well. I love reflections. I just don't know why, you know. All right, so um, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's okay. Manageable. Okay, I go to this. I check ambient occlusion and reduce just a little bit. I love it. So for this, okay, let's use five. For example, we go to the render view. When we're done, when we're almost, when we're finally done, we we'll increase this. But for now, let's keep, keep it at fifty. Okay. We'll also increase, we'll also increase this. But let's render and see how it looks like now. Okay. Wow, this is just pretty too much. Oh, really fantastic. Okay. I think it's. Um, Okay, so it's finally rendered now. Okay, let's see the adjustment. I'll have to give this um, this box material, okay, a better material. It shouldn't be white because normally uh, kids boxes are, are pretty much covered with something or designed. Um, okay, we have some gift boxes like this, but um, I'll just add something. I need to um, check the space between the plane and the and this one. I think um, when that's done, I think that'll be pretty old. So let's to, to double check that. Let's go. I think it's pretty cool it's pretty close so um for this one i check the material yep also i added texture to it all right so what texture am i adding i open a new image you got a christmas it, should, it can be a christmas box or a gift box whatever it is okay i open this image all right so if i need to render right now it would give me pretty cool pretty cool but let's see let's see how it's gonna appear this is really how much is gonna appear on the box all right so now um, let's think better if we render it we really see how it's gonna look like so quick render okay you notice you notice here has the picture but here has not got a picture all right let's let's to fix that we go into this all right, we come here. We we'll make a cube, and it automatically it gives the picture to all the faces here. All right, mm, doesn't really look real. It looks too straight and too plain, too big for it. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna come to image mapping. I increase this up to ten. I increase this up to ten, and let's see how it's gonna look like. Oh, fantastic! Really, really, really nice. Really nice. Okay, so let's go um rotate this let's see how it looks like i've opened the box now yeah you pretty much see that um you can see the inside of the box it doesn't really look real so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill it with a box another box okay another cube sorry okay so i drag that down and um i'll make it go in like that Okay, then I scale it on the, on the Z-Asics. Okay. Pretty much something like that. Okay, let me see how it looks like. Yeah. Uh, it's not really cool. It's not really cool, so... cool so I'll just um, work on that a little bit all right that's pretty cool okay all right so I think what's left with is um I just have to remove the specularity on this one yeah, it should look softer. Okay, I can select this one. Alright, I should go to the material settings and remove the specularity. Yeah, we need no specularity. Tall, 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 tall. Two tunes, okay? Alright. So, we have that there. 
all right so now what we have to do now is um we need to increase our resolution and our other settings to the highest um i pretty much think i'm done so let me save it if i lose it again once again okay so i go to render i increase this up to 100 percent it's aliasing okay i increase that i think uh, that's basically everything i need to do go into camera view and voila let's see how it looks like okay so yeah i think yeah yeah we added much detail so high resolution well um it's almost done so um it's taking about um 50 minutes now so we we'll wait for a short while for to see what whatever happens all right all right i think we're done so that's the beautiful gift box the gift box we've created or well, you can say a, a christmas box all right thank you very much my name is godfred uzu aka gentle fred and this tutorial is for the the, the, the digital grid sorry the digital grid see you bye